Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about day and night and how it works and uh, we're going to have some looks from uh, space and from Earth and to just help you understand how it works. Okay, so we have, um, just going to go through the uh, very simple picture we have here. Uh, down this side we have uh, our vocabulary. This is the sun. This is a representation of the Earth. This red circular uh, arrow here is indicating how the Earth rotates. This is the word rotation. How the Earth rotates. Okay, and uh, this rotation gives us day and night. Basically, the sun's light comes from the sun and it hits one half of planet Earth. The part that the sunlight does not hit, this blue part here, is what we would commonly refer to as nighttime. So it's in the shadow of the sun. This green dot is the North Pole. This is also the, the axis of the Earth. So basically the, the, Earth's, the Earth rotates on this axis. It rotates in this direction here like this. And this red dot is where we are located. You have to keep in mind that even though the Earth is turning, we are not actually moving from where we are standing on planet Earth. For example, your house doesn't get up, sprout legs, and start running across the planet. So this dot is where your house is. And you're going to see that uh, that little red dot will spin, and rotate all the way around. Now it will take 24 hours for this red dot to go all the way around and have one rotation, one full rotation of 360 degrees. Okay, so this right now this representation that you're looking at uh, this is what we would call midday or noon In some countries they call it noon this is basically roughly 12 o'clock and this is where the sun is highest in the sky wherever you are if you're talking about shadows well then in this case if if the time if you were here now in this particular representation then the shadow you would have would be very short possibly no shadow at all to speak of because the sun would be directly above you be at the highest point in the sky if we fast forward through uh, through the day we would find that the next important uh, part of the day would look like this And you'll see now that um, our house has now moved from over here to over here. It's moving in a counterclockwise or anticlockwise direction. So we started here at roughly 12 o'clock and now we're here. This is what we call dusk or sunset. That means we're getting the last rays of sunlight for the day. And if you were to draw a line from the sun, indicating the, the light coming from the sun, you would see that it's just kind of, some of the sunlight is just kind of um, hitting, just gently reflecting or uh, um, bouncing off the, the earth here. And so it's not a lot of sunlight. If you're talking about shadows, then at this point of the uh, day, your shadow is going to be very long because the sun is actually quite low in the sky. And again, this is the blue part. This is the part of the Earth that is still in shadow. And the green dot is again the North Pole. And that is our house. Okay, we move to the next important time of the day, or shall we say uh, 24 hour period. And you'll see that this is no longer dawn or dusk. This is now midnight. And you'll see that uh, again, the sun's light is hitting one half of the earth, but now we're in the section of the earth that is not getting any sunlight at all. This is nighttime. We're in the shadow. There's our house, there's the North Pole. And now the people who live exactly the opposite side of the planet are now enjoying uh, daylight. Right, so let's move to our next, uh, our 
the next important part of the day, 24 hour period, and we have this one here. Now there's our house, and this part of the day is called dawn or sunrise, and this is exactly the opposite to dusk. At dusk, we're getting the last few rays of sunlight. Your shadow is very long, but at dawn, at dawn and sunrise, again, your shadow is very long because the sun is very low in the sky, but it's rising. When it's uh, dusk or sunset, the sun is the sun is falling. The sun is going down below the horizon, and so that's why your shadow is long here. But here. Your shadow is long because the sun is just starting to peek over the horizon, but it's going up into the sky. So you will find that your shadow, when you go from here to here, gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And so this is dawn, sunrise. It's when we get the first rays of sunlight in the day. And then to complete the 24-hour cycle, we're right back where we started from. Here, we've got our little house there and we're right back to where we started from and that again as I said is midday or noon all right and now this whole trip the, the the rotation of the earth which took our house all the way through uh, dusk to midnight to dawn to midday that takes 24 hours and it moves in a counterclockwise or anticlockwise rotation. Okay, so let's just go on to another uh, slide I have and uh, hopefully this will help you understand fully. Uh, I hope you can see it. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to or not, but this, there's a green line here and this is the horizon. This is basically if you're, when you look off into the distance and the, the earth seems to end and then above it is the sky. Well, that's called the horizon. And this is you in your house, and we're on Earth, all right? And what happens as the day goes on is we have sunrise, sunset, sorry, dawn and sunrise. And the sun uh, will start by just peeking above the, the horizon like this, and your shadow will be very long. But then the sun moves up, and it kind of moves in an arc like this, like this, like this, until it gets to the highest point in the sky here. And this is midday. From this point on, the sun moves again in an arc back down towards sun, uh, sunset and dusk. Okay, so it moved kind of like this. And remember, it's kind of in an arc because he, um, uh, I won't go into it right now, but it's a little bit beyond what you need for year four. But that's basically how the sun uh, works. It goes. Uh, it sets in the west, and that's what we call uh, dusk and sunset. So again, it rises in the east, goes across the sky in an arc, and then it comes down. Now you have to remember that although it looks like the sun is moving, okay, like it look when you're when you're standing on your uh, front lawn and you're watching the sun uh, go across the sky, it looks like the sun is moving, okay, but in actual fact. It's the earth that's moving and the sun is staying where it is. Okay, the sun doesn't move. It's only the earth that moves. Right? So uh, that's how that works. So again, talking about shadows, your shadow is going to be very long here, but then your shadow is getting smaller, shorter, 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 shorter. Then your shadow is, is almost not uh, not visible because it's so tiny because the sun is going to be right above you and then as the sun goes down you'll notice that your shadow gets longer and longer and longer and longer and longer until finally it gets down to sunset and if you can see your shadow at all then it's going to be very long. All right well that's been a very long video I'm sorry it's, I try to keep them much shorter than this but I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.